nature lovers. I'm back for another video. I'm sorry videos are sort of weird. Um, gonna try and get back on track. Don't know if I will, but I'm trying. So, let's get into this. So, today we are talking about spiders. Um, and I know we've talked about spiders probably before, but we're gonna hit on them again. This time, we're talking about them as a group. So... A little bit different. And, you know, there's a lot of topics that we've covered over the years. Um, but this is one that gets me excited. <laughs> I love spiders. Um, so, yeah. I know that spiders aren't everybody's favorite animal. In fact, they're probably one of people's biggest fears. But we're going to cover some basics. So, first off... Um, spiders are not insects. They're not bugs. Okay? They are arachnids. And what that means is that, and it does mean something. We're going to talk about that. They have, and I'm going to use this guy, you've seen him before. Uh, they have eight legs. One, two, three, four. These are not legs. These are pedipelps. And they're going to use those to feel around their surroundings. Among other things. They have two body parts. They have the cephalothorax and the abdomen. And on the back, I'm going to use my Sydney funnel web here. They have two spinnerets. They have, are we ready? So an insect typically has six legs. Um, and again, insects or spiders have eight. Spiders always have an even number of eyes. Okay. Um, but now let's talk about the uh, silk or the spider silk, spider webs, whatever. So it starts, it actually starts off in the abdomen. And a long chain of proteins. And it's sort of a, a glue. Not a glue. Sorry. I don't know where that came from. A gel or liquid. And as it is stretched, um, it becomes harder. I've also heard when it enters the air, it solidifies. But whatever. Um, and they can actually make it sticky. So... Going on from there, they can actually produce quite a number of different kinds of silk. I believe it is up to seven different types of silk. And you're going to use the silk to make webs, um, nest, to wrap up prey, drop lines, anchors, drag lines, parachutes, egg sacs. And not all spiders form webs. Like we think of spider webs, but they all use some manner of silk. When it comes to catching prey, uh, they're going to use a mix of silk from sitting and waiting, or they might ambush their prey. They may use a bolo and literally. Um, Swing it from their mouth or their legs to catch prey. Or they may hunt. Spiders have fangs. And that's not the scientific name for them. But, um, yeah, for right now, that's what we're going to call them. And the fangs, if you can see that, are usually kept there. And again, this is what the spider is going to use to inject their venom. 
It is not poison. It is venom. Um, because it's injected. There are, and this is important, there are around 50,000 species of spiders, but only about 25 species or so um, can make you sick. That is 1 20th of 1% can make you sick. That being said, all spiders are venomous. Um, venom actually serves to pre-digest food, which is important because spiders um, have a mouth. The mouth is actually between the fangs. So it would be here somewhere in there um and they actually suck it up despite spiders most spiders are carnivores but there's one that is actually an omnivore meaning that it does eat plants and insects and its name is bagera kiplingi and they feed on the buds of a certain species certain species of tree and then during the dry season they will turn back to catching animals for food so a little bit about spiders um i will talk to you later goodbye oh before i leave um i want to thank you for subscribing if you're not subscribed why aren't you uh, click the subscribe button down below, down there, down there. Um, give this video a like if you've learned something. Click that notification bell so you know when my next video is coming out. And with that, I will definitely see you in my next video. Goodbye.